Rogue, explosive seeker mine. Detected. Rogue agent neutralized. Pues ese Cold Boy es un medio. Con nosotros.
Yo, yo, what's going on guys, it's your man Clever Thumbs, and I'm back with some more Division 2 content. Um, as you guys did see in the lengthy gameplay, um, this is extremely, really, really good and awesome, fun to use PvP build. It is the System Corruption build. Yes, that is right. But before we get right into it, definitely smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. That way you guys are aware of when I am releasing the newest content. So, yes, this is the System Corruption build um, with the new Kingbreaker. I do have the new Perfect Spotter chest piece. Uh, let's get right into it. So, what is System Corruption? System Corruption is a really awesome gear set that's only available in the Dark Zone. So, you have to farm for DZ. It's DZ exclusive only, and I do have really good pieces. Basically what it does is it gives you armor on kill, pulse resistance, disrupt resistance. You are everybody knows that specializations give you um, 50% pulse resistance off rip. So with this you're gonna have 90% and of course you run a pulse resistance mod. You have that 10%, you'll be at 100 I have 98.9% right now. Um, <clears throat> and of course a four piece does read replaces armor kits with an instant infinite use ability on a 20 second cooldown that repairs 20% armor and grants 50% bonus armor and hides your nameplate for 5 seconds. Increases total weapon damage by 1% per 5% uh, bonus armor gained up to 20%. <clears throat> so essentially you gain weapon damage bonus armor up to 100% because I am running the backpack so it increases from 50 to 100% and then <clears throat> I'm able to hide my nameplate so nobody knows how much actual armor I have because I'm hidden so this is basically how I play it I make it drop down a little bit and then I'll pop mine and then I'll just keep face tanking you through all this by that time you should already be dead <clears throat> that's basically that right there so system corruption is extremely good. Let's get right into it. So for my weapons, you guys already know I'm in the Kingbreaker. Why? Because it has perfect flatline. It's the newest. Amplifies weapon damage by 20% to pulsed enemies after two kills. Applies pulse to the next enemy you hit. This is a new gun. This is a new talent. This is what everybody wants to run. Let's run it. And I forgot to say that this is 100% pulse resistance build it can be mine is not mine is at 99 percent 98.9 you want to be technical but i will have that 10 percent mod by the end of like today so i'm um, have pulse resistance you can't pulse me but i can pulse you 
that is right and if you are running pulse resistance that is not a problem my build is far from being done i will easily swap to a different variant that you guys are going to see i have like three or four different system corruption builds maybe even five now that i'm thinking about it but the king breaker is extremely good um assault rifle you want max everything basically here with damage targets out of cover it's going to make this gun extremely good you also want to raise the expertise level mine's only at four percent weapon damage and if you compare this to the ak-47 it's pretty similar it's got about the same amount of damage it's got more rpms well this one's actually got four percent weapon damage so this is probably like 80k or something uh total damage so that's just in comparison with that i'm running a scorpio because if you guys do know scorpio is pretty annoying i'm going to face tank you with the scorpio and put you on bleed disrupt and snare and by the eighth shot i you'll probably just be done burning my blue armor and i'm gonna once you're foamed you're basically gonna on the next shot you're gonna take 20 percent damage from all sources that's when i'm gonna swap over to the um <clears throat> king breaker because i still have nine seconds basically if you see it up there it says that all these stats last for 10 seconds so for tw for 10 seconds you're gonna take 20 percent more damage from me or my team or anything so that's basically my two weapons i'm running technician because i'm running the linked laser pointer of course you point this and you pulse people that's how it works see pulse pulsed they're all pulsed and of course moving on with the build perfect spotter i am running the uzina jetica newest brand set it's pretty good it's got five percent armor total armor which is going to give me that two million armor on this build it also has uh crit damage so it came pretty decent put a critical hit chance you need two critical hit chance mods basically on your mask and your chest piece and then on your you know or wherever you want and your one of the slots you can put pulse resistance that way you're your max pulse resistance you want to have this build is extremely good like what i'm telling you this build is good this is the only you can ask all my clan members anybody that fucking sees me in the dark zone this is all I run. I don't even try the new, uh, why? Well, it's not that I haven't tried. I just don't want to play with the, whatever it's called, the Heartbreaker. <laughs> Everybody's using it right now. So, this is definitely going to kill all those, like, really well. No problem. But, uh, like I was saying, this is the new named Closer Chess Piece. And this is what you want to run. And also the new... AR is like perfect. It's meant to be. It's meant to be on this build. <clears throat> Obviously, the holsters, the Seska is going to give me more critical hit chance. Uh, the armor and the critical hit chance and critical hit damage is what you want. And of course, you want to min max. I'm like level 8, maybe 9 on the expertise level, but I don't have enough resources. The best, in my opinion, is to farm a new character. And uh, if you're above the SHD watch level, um, I'm at 1780. If you're above 1000, you're going to get a decent amount of resources and you guys can mid max your stuff and whatnot. But that's basically the build. I am running Defender Drone. And uh, if you guys didn't know, this goes up in the expertise level as well. So when I put uh, expertise level 8, I'm actually going to be at 8% damage reduction on top of the 12.6 that I already have. So you can already do the math right there. And know that i'll be at 20 percent so if you min max this you'll be at like 35 percent or something who knows we'll see because i think max expertise level is 25 and of course a jammer you want to jam people you want to make sure they have nothing they can't use their shields they don't have their bleed hive down or decoys which is what a lot of people are running uh so i jam you and then i pop my defender drone and then i'll fuck i'll be face tanking you entirely with this build and all of its integrity so that's basically the build moving on to these stats because i know you guys do want to see the stats and you're like what the heck clever you got 50 crit chance and 100 crit damage are you serious bro are you serious yes that is correct because that's all you can basically get out of this but this build you couldn't i wish it gave you like one percent armor regen that would be awesome but this is the build right here that's extremely awesome my Armor on kill is right there. If you want to see my exact armor, it's right there. <clears throat> but that's basically it. I do have a different variant that I like to run. And let me just show you real quick. 
because I do have, as you guys did see in the clip, so I have that. I have that. I have a Memento version. I have a Catharsis build, which is extremely good. And I even went down as far as to make an Imperial Dynasty holster. So I'll put you on fire. So you guys did see all those in the clips uh, before this. But it's really good. So basically, with the Catharsis build, I run it like this. I run it with the 1% regen unbreakable, and I still run the same exact weapons. You could probably use the SMG or whatever you want, but this is really good. Now, I have unbreakable. Now, I know it's not going to give me 100% because I'm in the PvE right now, but so basically, what's going to happen is someone's going to face tank me. I'm going to end up popping my med kit. You're going to have to shred through all that. Well, by that, before any of that, I'm already popping my jammer and defender drone on you. And then you have to fight through all that. And then my mask finally procs, and I'm getting the armor regen. See, so catharsis is not bad. This defender drone will help me tank a lot of damage. And then I'll be able to pop my med kit again, because I would have already fucking done a tactical retreat and waited for my med kit and then just beam you again. See, so the build is extremely awesome. I like it. I have a lot of fun with it. I even run Ridgeway too sometimes, but this build is extremely good. I highly suggest y'all that if you guys don't have it, go farm for it, and uh, you can even possibly, you can even possibly craft it if you have the pieces. But this is your man, Clever Thumbs. I just wanted to show y'all, in my humble opinion, the best system corruption build on the planet because it's only gonna get better. And I, like I said, let me actually go swap real quick so you guys can physically see what I'm talking about. So this build can get stronger as well because I'm at 2 million armor, right? So I'm going to go up and it's just only going to get way better. So what I was thinking was putting on a red and just raising my expertise level up on everything from 5 to 8, 4 to 8. This is not even close. I got to get my proficiency rank on it going so that I can increase that one so that possibly incorporating one red and then expertise level going up it would put me like two million armor or something and I'll have a red incorporated into the build that would be awesome maybe I'll even put two reds and drop down to 1.7 1.8 depending on how the game works because it's the just so you guys know so you guys aren't confused you see where my gear set says uh 131k armor on the top right 131k armor that's the percentage that <clears throat> that 5% expertise level is giving me 5% of 131,000 armor it's not 5% of 170k armor it's not 5% of my 1.8 million armor it's 5% of that 131k armor every piece is different the chest piece has 158k armor it says it right there under the closer high end right below that 158k armor so everything's different so that's just a little side note for you guys but definitely do enjoy the video and smash that like button subscribe and turn on that notification bell and i will see you guys on the next one peace